Uh, it's a long time coming and we're happy to be here. What a day to be a warrior. You hear that Division II and NCAA, uh, certainly a, a aura of excitement around campus. William Jessup University announcing they'll make the move to NCAA Division II after conversations began in 2019. The really good teams on the West Coast and NEIA were starting to transition to uh, uh, NCAA Division II and, and uh, the, the playing field. We had made a significant uh, investment in resources to make athletics uh, a premier athletics program and we didn't want to take a step back. De Joseph hits the three. So instead De they took a step forward sure and will join the Pac West Conference in 2024. Uh, I thought that that proving ground and that opportunity to grow nine years ago to where we're at today is the reason that we're able to make this jump to NCAA and feel confident about what we're about to do. For us as coaches being able to say hey listen next year we're going D2 um, is a huge stepping stone for us. A solid foundation with 16 competitive varsity sports in the NAIA and the Golden State Athletic Conference. To have a brick where we've laid it and where it's been um, and now ready to continue to build the wall of success. Two-time national champions in both stunt and track and field, 13 NAIA national tournament berths, 11 first team All-Americans and nine GSAC titles. A top tier sport like basketball, um, there's a lot that goes into it to compete for, you know, talent. Recruiting greater talents while keeping the championship pedigree. Uh, I think it's going to give us an opportunity to have higher recruits um, with the opportunity to have be coming in at a higher division. Where some of the ones that have said no in the past may reconsider their thinking and then choose to come to be a warrior. Hopefully now we can take it by, you know, take it by the reins and, and move forward. So again, it's one more year in the NAIA and the GSAC. Then they power their way into NCAA Division II and the Pac-West. In Rockland, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News.